Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I wanted to show you guys really the only hair dye I've let touch my hair over the last couple of years. It's this kit from Madison Reed. This video is not sponsored, but Madison Reed did send me these products in order to use here on my YouTube channel and give you guys my full thoughts. This isn't actually my first time using Madison Reed. I used Madison Reed before, about, I think it was last year. I did a video with my boyfriend where he helped me dye my hair. I'll throw the video up in the cards if you missed it. But um, the kit is actually so easy to use that I also wanted to show you not only um, how easy it is to apply and, you know, get a really nice uh, finish out of it, but also an updated hair care routine video. So I'm also gonna show you my typical styling routine and my deep conditioning routine. So in this video, I'm going to show you the unboxing of the actual full kit along with all the products you're going to get inside of it, as well as the full routine from start to finish of dyeing my hair. Now I've got a, a long history of trying to dye my hair. My hair is naturally a very, very, very dark brown to the point where it basically looks kind of black like on camera, but in the sun and in real life, it just looks brown. I love the dark blue black like look. I love black eyebrows. I just love how it looks where it's like so stark black. Like you can see like little bot like bits of blue popping out. That's my favorite. So because of that, I got, I believe this is their darkest shade. So this is Perugia Black. It's 2NAA. Um, and it's the dark deepest blue black, and it's just my favorite ever. It doesn't show up. I don't think you'll see the difference too much on camera, but like in person and in the sunlight, I'll try to get some pictures of my hair in natural sunlight to just kind of pop up over here. You can really see the difference there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump into the full process. This kit from Madison Reed comes with everything you need. A booklet with full step-by-step -step instructions, the radiant cream color in a tube, one processing cap, the conditioning color activator with two lids, a pair of latex gloves, Madison Reed's color protecting shampoo and conditioner, barrier cream, and a cleansing wipe. I started out by first detangling and brushing through my hair. This is very important, especially when you have thick curly hair like I do. After detangling, I separated my hair into four large sections. I then applied the barrier cream to my forehead, ears, and upper neck to prevent staining. After combining and mixing my color, I started with a section from the back of my head, applying the color close to my roots first before working it down my hair to the ends. I repeated this for each of the four sections.
After finishing each section, I took my hair down and used the remaining hair color to apply to the back of my head and any remaining dry or drier spots. I used the cleansing wipe to remove any color on my skin before putting my processing cap on and letting the color process for a full 45 minutes. After the 45 minutes were up, I jumped in the shower and rinsed while using the color protecting shampoo and conditioner. Here we jump into my curly routine. After the shower, I deep conditioned using the Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. I applied this liberally to my wet hair and let this sit under a processing cap and my hot head heat cap for another 30 minutes. Once I am done deep conditioning, I begin my styling routine. Recently, I've been using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Styling Lotion mixed with the OGX Argan Oil as a leave-in. I then finger coil my whole head with the Eco Olive Oil Styling Gel. To finish up, I clip my roots up for volume and let my whole head air dry. Okay, and this is the final result after um, letting my hair you know, sit overnight. My hair always looks best on two day hair or second day hair, which is why I, I, I saved until now to show you the final result. I love the color. My hair feels really nice and soft, which is um, a big difference from a lot of other drugstore hair. I've used drugstore hair dyes before, um, back when I tried to bleach my hair, that was kind of a disaster. I never want to do that again. I, and I know I only want to stay like dark. I'd never want to try to make my hair go lighter again. So that's why I went for box black dye. But even then I liked the result, but like my hair felt kind of fried. My hair feels really nice and my curls are all intact. Um, and that's something I think, uh, if you have curly hair, people might be worried about is whether or not, you know, the hair dye is going to like ruin your curl pattern. Uh, but my curls look very very nice and i also gave myself a little trim i cut some like little bang pieces i cut off some split ends and my hair just feels and looks so much healthier and nicer like i said at the beginning uh i've only used madison reed for like the last two years no other hair dye has touched my hair and i love it i don't have to touch it up too often um i think typically you should do it i think every like six months if you're just going darker like this and if your original hair color is pretty close to the hair color if you are like lighter going lighter I, i'm unfortunately not in the position to <laughs> give you too much great advice because i kind of failed at it i'll throw a picture up of like my bleached blonde hair and it, it did not go well but I love this result. I love my curls. I love the color and I'm just really happy with how it turned out and it was really easy to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you have any other questions or if you want to see any other updates on my hair care routine. This is actually I think my third year of being full curly like following a, a 
an updated slash different version of the curly girl method and I'm actually really happy with where my hair is. The only thing is I could use a little shape. I cut my hair by myself um, but I feel like I need to go to a salon and get it shaped which isn't going to happen anytime soon because COVID. Um, but that's, I feel like the only thing that's, I'm missing right now is just a little bit more shape in my hair because it is growing out. It's like really long now but I'm really happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.